Yeah, did what well. Formal. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll try to break down some film. And I mean, it's all about how yeah. these things are. Hey, Chris, uh, that's a state dude. Uh, he's been having a couple of days on the league. It's been great to see him uh, progress. But uh, hey, I mean, I'll play for anybody. I'm going to make whatever uh, situation for it. Well, how do you do that? Yeah. It was, I mean, great dudes. I mean, didn't really kind of dig it. Yeah, it's all much. Uh, I mean, it's kids. It's being like I answered stage, all their questions uh, very I mean, well, very honestly. I'm right. just kind of genuinely like showing the type of person I was, the player, type of mind I have. And uh, I, really, I think that interview went really, really well. What do you think you're right now versus the future, just with your upside? No, I mean, uh, I think right now I can bring them championship team. You know, this confidence I have, I think I'm able to assimilate myself myself very, very well, um, better than anybody else, I believe. And, and, um, that's the confidence I have just due to my experience and uh, just due to my physical tools. I think that I'm going to be able to be plugged into the offense, learn it well, and uh, become a leader very quickly in whatever team I play for. But obviously, the goal is to progress. I want to get better every year. I'm not expecting myself to be the best quarterback in the league uh, right off the bat. But um, I mean, that's just what I mean, I like that's about. That's what I'm going to lean on the coaches and the staff, the players around me to help me get to that level. What was this? What you learned about yourself during that time? Hey, I learned a lot. Um, I learned uh, that sometimes things don't go your way, and you just got to put your head down and keep working. You know. Um, one of the things that I stand for and kind of my mantra that I always live, oh, live my life by is never give up. And that whole time I was there, I never gave up. I walked in that uh, building every day, I mean, he was the starter. I uh, tried to show kind of coaches and uh, my teammates that uh, I had the capabilities to do that. And when I made that decision to transfer, I felt like I was kind of going uh, against that mantra. But at the same time, I realized I wasn't giving up. You know, I'm just going to stick to what I believe is best for me. And uh, I was going to go take my shot and uh, play my cards somewhere else. So, I mean, learned a lot. Uh, nothing but love for all the coaches and all the players that I had at Penn State. Um, and I uh, wouldn't trade that time for anything. No, I mean, hidden yards is everything. I mean, talk about it every week in our meetings, uh, especially special teams. I mean, that's the first thing I think of when I think of hidden yardage. But just as an offense, I mean, you look at every two, three yard play and what could make it a five, six, seven yard play. It's all the little details of football. And I think that's what makes the game so beautiful. I mean, you work so hard, you work for hours and hours and hours for maybe a play that you don't even run, you know? And then when you do, it's for three seconds of excitement and then you're on to the next one. So the, the more precise those little details are, the more you can get those extra yards. And uh, I think it's just my job as a quarterback to make sure that everyone's on their stuff and that every little detail is, is perfected so that we're able to maximize those yards. Yeah,